Good day to you. Today we look at the last part of Revelation chapter 20, which is about the great white throne judgment, a dreaded day for those who have rejected the Lord. But a day when all things will be brought to a close before the Lord creates the new heavens and the new earth. And so we look at it, it's really quite self-explanatory, but we will read it to refresh our minds according to the word of God, Revelation chapter 20, and I'm reading from verse 11. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. Actually, that probably refers to the terminus of human history as we know it. Verse 12, And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. This is a, re a reminder to us that all people are equal in the sight of our God. It doesn't matter whether you are great or small in this world. As far as God is concerned, we are all small. We really have to understand that. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? The psalmist says. And uh, when you are great in this world, Sometimes it's possible if you want to, to get away with stuff, but not forever because there is a reckoning day for both small and great in the sight of God. And this particular portion of scripture is God's invitation by his grace to all human beings to make them aware that there is a great day of reckoning coming. And in view of this, to protect yourself, get right with God right now. And then it says in verse 12, the second part, And I saw the dead, small and great standing before God, and books were opened. What are these books? Well, symbolically, they may be telling us that all our sins and activities and acts are recorded, cannot be erased, files cannot be destroyed, computers with information cannot be destroyed as far as heaven's data bank is concerned all records concerning all activities are in heaven and they are open to the eyes of the Lord. This is a sober reminder to all of us, both believers and non-believers, that we should live with utmost integrity and concern because God is watching us. He's present with us and he's aware. His eyes are open and they travel throughout the whole earth to not only make himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards him, but also because his eyes can see every activity that we are engaged in. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. Praise God that if you know Jesus as your personal savior, your name is written in the book of life. My name is written in the book of life. And if as you're listening to this broadcast, you realize 
that you have never repented of your sins and made a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that your name is not written in that book of life. I invite you to take that crucial step in your life. The most important step. The most important decision that you can make in this life. Which will determine your eternal destiny. That is to come to the Lord in humility and repentance. And ask him for his forgiveness. And ask him to write your name. In the book of life. When that great day dawns. And the book of life is opened. I know my name. Is written there already. I have that assurance. And the dead were judged. According to their works. By the things which were written. In the books. The sea gave up the dead. Who were in it. And death and Hades delivered up the dead. Who were in them. And they were judged, each one, according to his works. So this is now the beginning of the end, as it were. The second death. And uh, it's a warning. And a gracious invitation to come to him. Verse 14, then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And anyone not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. Again, I want to stress this fact that the lake of fire, hell, was not created for human beings. It is the place and the abode of Satan and his cohort. And no human being needs to go there. But if a person rejects God and denies his intervention in their lives, when that moment of departure from this life comes, at that moment, if Christ is not in you, then the hosts of hell the powers of darkness will wrench you from this life into their abode. Whereas, if you are a child of God, the angels of God will come and carry your soul into the presence of the Lord. That is what we find recorded in the Bible in Luke's Gospel chapter 16 as I mentioned in the previous session we are told what will happen when we pass from this life so no one should blame God because our eternal destiny is in our hands we make the choice we make the decision we make the decision to either follow the Lord or reject him. And rejecting the Lord and the free offer of salvation that he has given while we are in this life is the most self-destructive decision that we can make. And we can blame no one else but ourselves if we decide to do so. Therefore, Again, let me stress that you can open your heart to the Lord and receive his forgiveness and become his child if you humbly come before him and repent and ask him to cleanse you from your sins because of the blood that Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary. I hope you will do that if you don't know him, but if you know him, since your name is written in the book of life, rejoice, 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 because you're a child of God and you're secure in his hands. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gracious and merciful invitations that you make to us over and over again so that we may open our eyes and receive and experience your grace and salvation. I pray if there is anyone who is listening to this broadcast who does not know you, 
I pray that their hearts will be touched and the Holy Spirit will move upon them and they will humbly come to you and experience your grace in, our in their lives. And Lord, for those of us who know you, we thank you that one day you sought us like the hound of heaven and we responded to your call. Give us the grace to live for you in holiness, in a way that is pleasing to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. May God bless you and be with you and give you his grace and strength every day of your life. God bless you.